guys i am back um so today's video is going to be a little different from what i uh, normally did uh today i have notes um so don't mind if i'm looking down but today i wanted to do a video talking about my kids names and why we chose them um, also, I'm going to give you guys a little update on how I've been doing, um, so stay tuned. If you guys haven't watched any of my previous videos to know my story and, you know, try to understand a little bit about me and my family, go ahead and watch those videos as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if this is something that you would like to see more of, also let me know down below. Um, any more video ideas that you guys might have. Um, so I've been doing all right uh, since, you know, everything that happened last month. Um, for you guys that don't know, we lost our baby boy December 5th. Uh, today is January 12th, I believe. Um, yeah, it is. My due date was supposed to be this Friday, actually, January 14th. Um, so it's the holidays were very hard um we made a little memorial for him here and you know i've been going through a little isolation period of grieving um i didn't realize it until i watched a video and it mentioned it and i was like wow that's actually kind of what i've been going through just been isolating myself from the world from people from youtube from messaging people back um social media things like that but i've been healing uh, mentally emotionally things like that um uh, been you know just taking it one day at a time pretty much it's all i can do we miss isaiah every day um but i'm able to talk about him without crying every time um yesterday we finally went through the room that was supposed to be for isaiah and um we put everything all the baby stuff we kept we're gonna keep uh we put it in the closet in the room and we turned the room into an office space um so slash studio for my husband's music um and just a space for me to paint and you know just read my bible things like that um so if you guys want to see a video on that let me know in the comment section uh so let's go ahead and get on with this video so our first child he is four um we named him channing so his name is channing isaac um and um actually his first name means young wolf and it is of an old French slash English uh, origin. Uh, the reason why we went with that, I just felt like he was gonna be wild. Um, also, I wanted, I just, I felt, I don't know, I felt like he was gonna be just a wild boy, like his dad. Those are cowboys. Um, and also, when he was born, he cried a lot. Uh, I feel like that's my take on how wolves are they like to be in packs they you know they might be a little curious but they don't really take too much risk um and we just felt like that name would suit him and actually that's exactly how he is he's very clingy he cries a lot he still cries a lot um he's very emotional um, he loves his family. Great flavor because that ice cream was out of the park. Yeah. I think probably okay. theirs was the, the most out there. Okay. The they went just over the top yes. with their brownie mug, which was so indulgent okay. and filled yeah. with such yeah. incredible yeah. flavors. Yeah. I had my first yeah. bite. He loves to love people. Um, and he's so smart. Like he knew his all his letters before he was 18 months old. He knew all his letters before he could even speak. Um, I forget how old he was, but I have a video on my Facebook of him doing his alphabet, his whole entire alphabet, like just picking out letters. Um, he was probably one in the video. Um, he started walking at nine months old. Uh, he 
he's just he's just a young buff. Um, his middle name, Isaac, was actually a it's a name in the Bible, um, and it is of Hebrew origin. And if you guys don't know the story about Isaac, uh, go ahead and read your Bibles on that one. But um, he was the he was Sarah and Abraham's son, and they prayed for a baby for a very long time. Chenny came after a miscarriage, um, so we had a miscarriage at like 14 weeks, and then three months later, that's when I got pregnant with Chenny. Um, and also, it means laughter. And this boy is so goofy. He laughs, and he's just, he's so funny. Like, he will do the, the goofiest thing. And I'm like, where did you get that from? Like, I was getting dressed the other day, and he just nonchalant walked past me. And he was like, Mommy, I like your pink underwear. And I was like, um, thank you. And, okay. It was so funny, though. They're like, they were like the, you know, the granny panty ones that you get from the hospital um yeah so they weren't like nothing it wasn't nothing crazy but yeah um i still have to wear those because my c-section scar is kind of low and just regular underwear oh it bothers the scar so i have been wearing those um every now and then but yeah he just walked past me like hey mom i like your pink underwear and I was like, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, he's just so funny. He's funny. Uh, we love him. And on, on to the next name. We have a daughter. She just turned three this past weekend, January 8th. Her first name is a Hawaiian name. It's Kalani. Um, it's a name that I always love. And I was, you know, I just fell in love with the name and I wanted to pick that for our daughter. And my husband agreed, he liked the name too. So, um, yeah, so I actually looked up the, the name meaning. And it means the heavens, it means sky, and it also means royal one. Um, so she was born she is very quiet. She slept a lot. She eats a lot. She still does. She's just very, like, heavenly. She's just very calm. She can be crazy sometimes, of course. She is a toddler. But she was always, she always had a smile on her face. Like, she, she was just so lovely. She gives the best hugs, you guys. And, yeah. And now, um, she also told me on Saturday she had a princess dress on and I was like mamas come here and she's like no mommy don't call me mamas call me princess so she knows she's a royal one <laughs> Boop. 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 <laughs> um she's very artistic too she's more like music more into music and dancing Where Channing is more into learning and um, yeah so she we're working with her on her letters and stuff now but um, yeah so she is more artistic she's always rocking to a beat dancing always just the life of the party um, and her middle name is Layla and I didn't know that it was an Egyptian slash Arabic name um, but I I also looked up the meaning of her name before we gave it to her and it means night and dark beauty it also has other meanings but I'm just gonna ignore that but um, night so she was born at night she actually came three hours my labor with her was three hours my water broke at like 11 and she was born by one or like at one something at night so she was born very fast actually uh, so we had to stay in the hospital for a while but yeah um and also dark beauty uh she was born with black hair my son actually has brown hair like a lightish brown hair i also have uh brown hair my husband has black hair but he always keeps his hair cut so yeah she was born with black hair 
she had a lot of it when she was born but it fell out in the middle so she was looking like an old man for a couple months um but yeah so she was born with black hair and she also is mixed my husband is black so i want her to always remember that her black is beautiful um no matter what people may tell her and she also has my husband's hair texture so she doesn't have the bouncy curly hair she has you know the thicker coarser hair um and i just want her to always remember that her black is beautiful um so um no i didn't know these things when i named them but they are literally their names fit them so well and then isaiah's name um so what we did Channing's initials is C-I and then his last name. So we just reversed the C-I and we did Isaiah with the I-C initials. I know I give names a, a big, a long thought process, um, but his name Isaiah, it is of a Hebrew name. It was, it's one of the well-known prophets in the Bible. Um, and his name means Yahweh is salvation. And it's crazy because he's in heaven with God right now. Um, so he's he's a little little angel. And um, you know, I don't I don't know, I just feel like the name fit him. Um, when I was pregnant with Isaiah, um, a couple things I just could never eat. Like I couldn't drink coffee. I would always get feel very very sick like um acid reflux if i did that he loved it when i drank orange juice um he loved like spicy food i crave spicy pickles all the time um i don't know just being pregnant with him it was like the perfect pregnancy i didn't have any morning sickness i didn't have any like sore boobs like nothing i was small like I didn't get no stretch marks with him and like nothing it was a perfect pregnancy the only problem the only issue I had when I was pregnant was uh, the pelvic area was always hurting it was hard to walk and my asthma but I had that with all my pregnancies so yeah but I didn't have any like you know people nobody knew I was pregnant until I was like five months pregnant that's when we told everybody so nobody even knew I was pregnant um and I, I finished paramedic school pregnant with him about five months pregnant with isaiah uh graduated that um i got a new job when i was pregnant with him with the hospital um yeah like he being pregnant with him was just it was a blessing um it was just it was it was an amazing experience and yeah Uh, so his middle name, his middle name is Carter. Um, I don't really know what the meaning of Carter is, but his brother actually gave him that name. Um, one day we were just in the kitchen and Channing came up to me and he was like, mommy, Car or, um, Isaiah Carter likes monster trucks. And I was like, oh, okay, who, who's that? And he was like, mommy, it's the baby in your belly. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, so then I told my husband about it and we just felt like the you know after that everybody kept calling him isaiah carter and i just felt like it was a powerful meaning because his brother gave him the name and who would have thought like a four-year-old could name their brother and it fit so perfectly like channing isaac isaiah carter it was just perfect so that's how we got his middle name um so yeah that's their names um i just wanted to do a positive video today something that you guys can enjoy um while i'm going through this isolation period today i had motivation to make another video um so i wanted to do that um but yeah um also don't mind i'm always wearing my hat in probably most of my videos i am i stay cold um my iron has still been pretty low so i, I still take iron pills and stuff like that but I just, I'm always cold and I'm literally sitting right in front of this 
precious little heater of mine. Um, so yeah, go ahead and leave me down in the comment section what, what you guys would like to see. Um, continue to share my videos, share my story, and follow us. Um, also, my husband does music. He does Christian music. So if you guys are interested in any kind of Christian rap, Christian hip-hop, anything like that, uh, go check my husband out. He's pretty amazing. So, yeah. Um, his name is Aaron Page. And, yeah. Leave his, I believe his name on YouTube is Aaron Page Music. He has a lot of uh, social media accounts, so it's hard to keep up with. Um, but yeah, so that's the video for today.